to show you how to replace the seals on the oil filter housing on a Vauxhall Astro 2010 plate. First what we're going to do is we're going to remove these three nuts as you can see situated underneath the bottom of the catalytic converter and then we're going to remove this bolt situated just there and then there is a few more bolts that's situated as you can see on the manifold to gain access to the oil cooler. Now we've removed those three 13 mil bolt as you can see the flexible pipe of the exhaust is loose well now I just do need to remove that torque right there that's holding the actual catalytic converter in place and now we're going to move all the way up to the top to the manifold to start removing the bolts on the manifold but first of all before you do this as you can see on the catalytic converter we've got one two and there's got another two at the top for the heat shield you have to remove the heat shield to gain access to the exhaust itself. See, this is the heat shield that I've removed. As you can see, it's got four bolts on it. Literally, as you can see, one goes there, one's there, and then the other two sits on the exhaust that just down there, as you can see from this picture. You also have to remove the dipstick, as you can see. It literally just pops out once you remove the bolt from there. It's joined with the heat shield. Now we're gonna remove these bolts, as you can see. And then we'll be able to remove the exhaust manifold and gain access to the oil slash oil cooler housing. A 10 mil, as you can see, deep socket to remove those 10 mil bolts on the exhaust itself. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts all together. As you can see, these are the two 12 mil torque socket, star torque socket bolts as you can see it's a E12 socket to remove them you can see there's two of them that's situated just up there you can see both of them are removed now what we're going to do is literally go up top and disconnect the exhaust and just literally take it out so we're going to slide the exhaust manifold away from the block just, just like so and just pull it out gently, quite a snug fit. As you can see, as you can see, that's the oil cleaner that's situated just down there. We're now going to remove this pipe. And then we're going to get to the oil cooler and remove the bolts. And now we're going to remove the bolts going towards the power steering pump. As you can see, it's also got a um, water channel. It's also good to drain the coolant beforehand. It's a E10 star torque socket to remove it. As you can see, so remove that one. There's also another one situated. As you can see, there's two of them situated just down there. We're going to remove those as well. You should always change the seals when replacing as well. We'll remove those ones first, and then we're going to move down there, as you can see, the rest of the bolts for the cooler. And once we've disconnected that pipe, you should be able to remove the whole thing. As you can see, there's some more nuts. They're facing backwards. I wouldn't worry about those for now. We're going to remove those pipes and those bolts, and then it should just slide out once it's out. If we need to remove that side, we can literally just take it off, but we won't really need to do that. And after you've finished removing the bolts on the oil cooler, literally you just give it a little wiggle and a little tug, and it should just pop off just like that. Now, as you can see, the oil filter cooler, pulling the housings all out. As you can see, to remove the cooler, you literally have to take the housing out because these bolts situated backwards so you have to take the cooler out to actually get access to them remove the seals the seal on the cooler is these ones i'm also going to replace the ones on the oil filter housing as well as you can see as we've got both of them there and you can see that's where it was leaking from and on that side but make sure you clean the area up first before you put the new seals as you can see from this video it's a t30 star talk to remove these bolts on the oil cooler housing. Bolts 
are out. What we're gonna do is get like a little lever bar, try and gently just prise it up until it pops. Then we're gonna eventually just come off as you can see, that's where the seals are. It's one channel for the oil and one for the water. As you can see, there's a clear one for the water and the other one's for the oil. Place those seals and refit it. And also remember to clean the area before refitting it of all the oil so that it sits properly in the seals. Now, as you can see, the surface areas are clean on both sides, including the cooler. Now, I'm going to fit that gasket onto it and then tie all the bolts on there, and that should be okay. And then move to the next step of fitting the seals to the oil filter housing reconnecting it to the engine block. Okay, now I've actually fitted all the seals to order the pipe, including the cooling pipes. Just always remember when you're, when you're removing the oil filter housing, including the cooler, to replace all the pipes, not just the ones on the cooler itself, all the oil filter housing, also on the pipes that goes to the past steering pump as well and to the oil channels as you can see down here as well there's also a seal for that one and there's also a seal for this one always rem remember to replace them i've now replaced all of them and now i'm just going to refit it and then i'm going to put the exhaust back together put some oil in the engine top it up with coolant bleed the system and leave it to run and see what happens now I've got the exhaust manifold back on. As you can see, I've put all the 10 mil nuts on there, but you should leave them loose so that you've got movement in the exhaust manifold. As you can see, to connect the two bolts underneath that I'm about to do, after you've connected those two, you can just tighten them all up together. Otherwise it won't sit properly. Two bolts. That one now I need to connect. As you can see, they're lined up. So I can fit these two because if we tighten the exhaust manifold, this should be very difficult to align those. 